Welcome to Electron Line. Work done by either compressing or elongating springs is a very typical type of problem. And here we have such an example. Let's say that this is the natural position of a spring, so no force is applied. Then to extend the spring from there to there, you will need to apply some force. And as you continue to extend the spring even further, it will require a greater and greater amount of force. So we might be able to indicate that by this takes a small amount of force. And as you elongate the spring further and further, it will require a greater and greater amount of force. So the force is not a constant. What we're trying to do here is determine how much work will be required to extend the, the spring from a distance of one meter past its equilibrium point to a distance of three meters past its equilibrium point. Notice that the force required is indeed a function of x. It is equal to one half kx squared, where k is considered the spring constant of the spring. That can be determined by taking the amount of force required to extend it or elongate it a certain amount of distance. In this case, it required a force of 100 newtons to elongate the spring by one meter. So therefore, the spring constant for this spring is 100 newtons per meter. So now to calculate the work done, to extend it from one meter to three meters, we can do as follows. Work done is equal to the integral from x equals one to x equals three of the force times dx. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pull the spring just a small amount of dx from this position to the next position, calculate the work done, then extend it again, and then again and again, and we'll sum them all up going from one to three. That's, of course, the integral. And so this can now be written as the integral from 1 to 3. The force is 1 half kx squared dx. And of course, since the 1 half is a constant, we can move that outside integral sign. So this is equal to 1 half k times the integral from 1 to 3 of x squared dx. So now we're able to integrate that. When we integrate x squared, we get one half k times x cubed over three, evaluator from one to three. So we can take the three out, so we can bring that over here. We have, this is equal to one over six times k. When we plug in the upper limit, we have three cubed, which is 27, minus when we plug in the lower limit, we get one. And that would be equal to 26 over six times k which is equal to, when we simplify that, we get 13 over three times k. And since k is equal to 100 newtons per meter, that's equal to 13 times 100 divided by three. And of course, 1300 divided by three. Oops. Well, let's see here. Actually, we don't need a calculator for that. 1200 divided by three is uh, 400. That would be 400 and 33 and a third and the work done that would be in terms of joules and that's how it's done